Let us, with the time remaining, let's look at one more. My apologies to those of you who came last night. We worked this problem last night. But for those of you who weren't there, we're just going to do it very quickly. We have this meteor, I'm sorry, an asteroid, coming in in the X direction. And then it explodes. And you remember that an explosion is a type of collision. So this would be a two-dimensional collision problem. So let's solve that. Now, I'm going to need this table. Now, if I, if I add up the momentum of all of the fragments, that's going to give me the total momentum of the system. Well, the total momentum of the system can't change. That means it's got to be the momentum that this asteroid had before the explosion. And it's all in the x direction. I got 250 kilograms going at 3 meters per second. That's going to be a total momentum of the system of 750 franci in the x direction and zero in the y direction. Well, after the collision, it's all got to add up to that same amount. Well, if I look at fragment one, it's going to the left, but I don't know how fast. So I would write that momentum as negative 50 kilograms V1. Is V1 going to be a positive or a negative number? Positive. positive. It's a speed. It's a magnitude. I already said the direction was left by putting the minus sign there. And there's going to be none in the y direction for one. Now, if I look at fragment two, it's got a momentum of 120 times 5, or 600 franci, and it's going at an angle of 53 degrees. Now, If I break that up into its x part, to go up and to the right, I've got to go to the right, and I've got to go up. So I'm going to have a positive x and a positive y. This is going to be 600 times the cosine of uh, 53 degrees, and that's going to be 360. This is going to be 600 times the sine of 53 degrees, and that's going to be 480. So I put that in, 360 and 480. Now here's where we have to use conservation of momentum. We don't know how fast this last fragment is going, but we do know that it's going at 37 degrees. So. I know that I've got something with momentum 37 degrees. But I also know that this Y column has to add up to zero. And so that means that this third fragment has to have a Y part equal to negative 480. So that means that when I break up this vector, the y part has to be 480 down. But I don't know what this x part is. Well, 
I could do that two ways. A plug and chug way would be the tangent of 37 degrees is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side, and I could solve for Px. The other way I could do it is to recognize that this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. This is 3 times something, 4 times something, 5 times something. And 480 is 3 times 160. So 4 times 160 would be uh, 640. And 5 times 160 would be 800. So now I can come up to my table and I can put 640 for uh, fragment 3. Now the last part of this problem asks us, uh, how fast is fragment 1 going? Well, we've already used the y part and added it up. Let's use the x part. If I add up that x part, I find that minus 50 kilograms times V1 plus 1,000, right? That's France side. 360 plus 640, think of it as money. You got a grand. That's got to add up to 750. Well, if I subtract 1,000 from both sides, I get minus 50 times V1 is equal to minus 250 France I, or V1 is going to be 250 over 50, or 5 meters per second. We already know it's to the left, because we put the minus sign in all the way at the top. The speed is 5 meters per second. Check that your neighbor understood how to work that problem. My experience as an old guy has been that those of you tomorrow night that have the table will also have the right answer. And those of you that don't have the table will not. So if I were you, I'd put the table. Okay, good luck tomorrow night, people.